Hi, we're in Word Packet 2.1. We're on pages 7 and 8. We're going to talk about truth tables. Truth tables are a convenient way of organizing truth values of statements. Complete the following negation, conjunction, and disjunction truth tables. So again, we're looking to decide. We need to know whether this compound statement is true or false. That's what we're trying to figure out. Okay, remember these were simple statements over here. And we want to know, if we know something about these simple statements, can we determine whether the compound statement is true or false? That's why we put together these truth statements, I'm sorry, these truth tables, because these truth tables help us to determine what the truth value is of compound statement. Okay? So let's start with the first one over here. Now we know that P, that little tilde in front, that means negation, that means not P. So if the original statement is true, then not P will be false, right? It has the opposite truth value. The original statement is false, then not P will be true, okay? Now, let's try and determine the truth value of this compound statement. I know it's a conjunction, that means P and Q have to be true at the same time. Both of them have to be true for this one to be true. That's the conjunction, okay? So what I do is, I put together first two columns over here, one for P, one for Q, of all the combinations that there are between P and Q. The first combination is P can be true and Q can be true. The second combination is P can be true and Q can be false. The third combination is P can be false and Q can be true. And the last combination is Q can, P can be false and Q can be false. Those are the total number of combinations that I can have of two different statements being true or false. Okay, And I know that this one is going to be true only if both are true. So in this case, the first row, both are true, therefore the compound statement, the conjunction, P and Q, is also true. Now in this one, I know that P is true and Q is false, therefore the compound statement must be false. In this case, P is false and Q is true, and this is only true if both are true, so in this case, it's false. And if both are false, well, then it's definitely going to be false. If I look at this table over here, again, I'm just writing down all the combinations that there are, the possible combinations of two statements being either true or false. Okay, they can both be true. If they're both true, is the disjunction true, right? Well, the disjunction, which reads P or Q, is true if either one is true. I just need one of them to be true. Well, in this case, both are true, so it's definitely true. This one's true and this one's false, but it's still true because I just need one of them to be true. This one's false and that one's true. Again, it's true. The compound statement is true, so this statement is true because this simple statement is false and that simple statement is true. Only if they're both false is the compound statement, the disjunction, false. Tips for constructing truth tables include columns for each statement, so P, Q, R, etc. Include columns for the negations required, so you create a separate column for all the negations required. Lastly, include, include columns for the compound statements, as we saw above, a separate column for the compound statement. So we're going to try over here. It says construct truth tables for the following compound statements. So here we go. Let's try the first one over here. Or we're going to read it. It says P or not R. P or not R. So I start with the regular statements, the simple statements, P and R. So I'm going to put down P and I'm going to put down R. Then I realize that I need a negation. So I'm going to put down not R. And then finally I'm going to put down the compound statement, which is P or not R. Okay? So let's look at the different combinations that there are for each. I can have both are true. I can have this one true and this one false. I can have this one false and this one true, and this one false and this one false, right? Those are the possible combinations of these two statements. They can both be true at the same time. One can be true, one can be false. The first one can be false, the second one true, or both can be false, okay? Now let's look at this column over here. I'm negating R. So these two have opposite truth values. So if this has a truth value of T, true, and this one's got to be false. This one's false, and this one's got to be true. False, true. And now finally, I'm look, I can look at the compound statement, which is a compound statement between P and not R. So I look at the column P, and I look at the column not R. And it's a disjunction. So either one of them has to be, if either one of them is true, this compound statement is true. So I look at P over here, it's true. I look at not R over here, it's false. Well, at least one of them is true. So the compound statement is going to be true. P is true, not R is true, definitely true. P is false, not R is false, uh-oh, it is false. Right? That's the only case for a disjunction in which 
the compound statement, the disjunction will be false. P is false, not R is true, at least one of them is true, so the compound statement is true. Let's look at the next one. Let's look at three over here. Okay, so we have two simple statements. We have a Q and an R, so let's write that down, Q and R. But I also have a not Q. I have a not Q, and I have the compound statement itself, which reads not Q or R. Okay, so again, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down all the combinations of Q and R. So they can be both true. This can be true. This can be false. This can be false. This can be true. Or they can both be false. Not Q will have the opposite sign of Q. So if it's true, this guy's going to be false. False, true, true. And now the compound statement, not Q or R, is true. If either one is true, if either one of these simple statements is true, so here I see not Q, I'm looking at not Q and R. R is true, not Q is false, so this is going to be true. Both are false, so it's false. Both are true. It's true, one is false, one is true, therefore it is true. Okay, moving on to number five up here. We're going to make it ever more complex. So now we have, again, a compound statement. It's a disjunction, or I start with P and Q. Now I realize that I have two negations. P and not Q, and then I have the compound statement of not P or not Q. So again, I'm going to go through all the combinations, true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Not P is going to have the opposite truth value of P, so these two are true, so if it's true, it's false, false, it's true. Not Q is going to have the opposite truth value of Q, so this becomes false, true, false, true. And now I can combine them both. I'm going to look at these two columns because this 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 is a uh, this statement contains both of these simple statements, right? This compound statement contains not P and not Q. So since it's a disjunction, if either one of them is true, this compound statement is going to be true. Well, in this case, they're both false, so the compound statement is false. Here, not Q is true, so the compound statement is true. Here, not P is true, so the compound statement is true. And here, they're both true, so definitely that compound statement is disjunction. Okay, guys, here we go. Question number seven. It's getting more complex now. So question number seven, uh, we have a lot of different things going on, right? We have a compound statement within a compound statement. So let's, still, let's look at the simple statements that we have. I have a Q, I have a P, and an R. So Q, P, and R, right? And I'm going to want to write down all the different combinations for Q, P, and R so they can all be true. I can have this guy true, then this guy false, this guy true. I can have this guy true, uh, this guy true, this guy false. I can have true, true, false, like that. I can have false, true, false. I can have false, false, true. I can have true, false, false. Or I can have all of them being false. Those are the, all, all the combinations that are possible if you have three statements, right? Okay, guys. Now, I also have a negated statement, not Q, so I gotta write that one down, not Q. Not Q is the opposite truth value of Q, so it's gonna be false, 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 true, 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 sorry, that was an upside, uh, false, true. Now I have two other columns left, that's because I have two compound statements left. I have this compound statement, and then the whole thing which is a compound statement, right? So I have P and R, right? It's a pyramid here, so and R, P and R. So look at the columns P and R. Now a conjunction is only true if both of them are true. So here I have both true, true, so the conjunction is true. Here one of them is false, so the conjunction is false. Again, the conjunction is false, the conjunction is true. False, 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 and false. And now finally, I can figure out the truth value of this compound statement um, in every scenario. So for every combination of Q, P, and R. So all I do is I look at the not Q column over here, and I look at the P and R column over here, and I know that I have a conjunction as well. So both of them have to be true at the same time for this compound statement to be true. Let's look at them. This one's false, this one's true, so it's false. False, 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 false. True, true, true. True, false, false, true, false, 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 true, false, false. Okay, guys, that's it for this video.